Hello, my YouTube family. I'm very tired. Let me just start out with that. If I had two to three hours sleep, then I had a lot of sleep last night because it was the night from hell. So I'm going to make this extraordinarily, extraordinarily short. Um, this is a lip combo that is an epic fail as far as I'm concerned because I copied this lip combo from a YouTube person that she goes by makeup by Risa R I S A and what she did was she showed like a purple lip and she kind of did a lot of combinations and I chose one combination the purple rain lip liner lined your lips fill your lips and then put up the amp on top mine does not look like hers now of course we're two different skin tones but that doesn't matter because hers looks so much better like 10 times better than what I came I don't know what I did wrong I use the exact same things she did. I will even post a link to that particular video that I'm referring to. And you'll see what she did. And then you'll see what I what mine looks like. It's not a bad look. But I was looking for what she had. And this is what I came out with. Although I match perfectly. I mean, the lip color is the ish. It goes exactly. And of course, that's what everybody was talking about today. Nancy, how did you get your lipstick to match your clothes so exact? I was like, I like to color coordinate. Thank you very much. They know. They know between the headband and my clothes and sometimes my lipstick. I am known as the color coordination chick because, you know, I'm the first person that everybody sees. So, yeah, I like to look, you know, even though the hair, is, it needs some work. But at least the lips, even the eyes, color coordinate. Okay, so I'm not too thrilled. I'm not 100% disappointed, but I'm not thrilled at the fact that they came out looking like this when I really wanted them to come out the way Makeup by Risa's look came out. So that's basically it, people. It is, you know, NYX, which is slowly becoming a nub. I'm going to quickly have to get another one. NYX Purple Rain Line and Fill and since I don't have the actual lipstick, but you know my girl got this for me, and you know who you are. It's number 12, Up the Amp. So this is what Up the Amp looks like. I'll try to do a swatch on my hand for Up the Amp with my trusty brush. Dig, dig, dig. And... It's very, very creamy. I think it's an amplified. I'm not really sure. That is up the amp. Gorgeous. Lovely. Mm. Mm. I. It looks like a very nice, creamy look. Like I've said, I'm not 100% disappointed, but I wish the look came out the way Risa's look came out. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. Today was crazy. Was absolute insanity. Well, of course, the big wigs were in the boardroom today. I don't know what the hell they were talking about. Maybe trying to look for a replacement for the um, who, the one who just up and walked out. Um, Maybe that's the situation. I don't know. But um, it was absolute insanity. The phones... I don't know if there is a power, a, a higher being out there that every once in a while tells everybody in humanity to call my number, but that's exactly what happened. As soon as I put the phone down, it rang again. As soon as I put the phone, then two or three came. Needless to say, I'm happy to be home, okay? I'm just, I'm just happy to be home. So that was the day. Cutie and I spoke about Game of Thrones, honey. Oh, he was so excited. I was excited that he finally caught up to all the episodes because every time I try to talk to him about it, he's like, don't tell me, don't tell me. I didn't catch up yet. Well, he finally caught up. So we were all into the conversation this morning about Game of Thrones. Oh, yes. 
And he's like, do you realize that this uh, particular season is all about strong women? I'm like, uh-huh. Is there a point? <laughs> and he's like, no, but I, I don't want to F, you know, I don't want to F with any of them. I'm like, mm-hmm. Don't F with a strong woman. And he just kind of gave me a look like, oh, you consider yourself one of those? I didn't answer. But um, I will tell you this much. Uh, last night, I was doing my Facebooking as usual, you know, just scrolling along, doing all sorts of stuff. Guess whose pictures popped up on my page. He was in a limo with her. They had gone to the city together, um, arms around each other. He can't tell me Jack. I don't want to know. I... It's not that I don't want to know. I already know. I just, I So Cutie is mighty taken. And I don't know. She, she has to know that I'm a friend of his because if she's posting them on his page, then she knows who his friends are. And I'm sure I show up and I don't really post all that much on his page. I'll post something about Game of Thrones if I see something that pops up and it's like, you know, oh, cutie, I say his, I write his name. Um, this should, this should be of interest to you and it'll pop up on his page. And I'm sure she'll see that I posted on his page. So I don't know. You know how sometimes you think somebody's sending you a message like lay off of my man. He is mine. And this is the proof. I'm kind of getting that feeling, but she don't have nothing to worry about because I mean, he is cutie to me, but I like, that I like that there can't be anything else, you know. Earlier on, I was like crushing on him really badly, but you know what? I'm good, I'm good with the way we are right now, and I think he's comfortable with the way we are, even though you know there's nothing that could happen between us anyway because he is taken, and she making sure to let everybody know that he is taken, so she don't have to stress because it ain't like that. Maybe she could be kind of jealous because he does spend a lot of time with me. I don't know what's, like I said, remember the last time I was wondering why she was on my side of the office? I don't know if they moved her to my side of the office, but maybe she is not happy with the fact that he spends a lot of time at my desk, which is maybe why he doesn't spend as much time as he used to. Although today I did see him going back and forth and they were just, I mean, working that poor thing like a beast. So I don't know. I don't know what it could be. I mean, you know, he's trying to juggle me, trying to keep it nice and friendly, and I still want to remain your friend, but, you know, he got to keep the girlfriend happy, too. And when I don't see him, I let him know that I am not pleased, and he don't like that because he gets all caught off guard like, I, I, I don't know how to handle this right now. I love when I throw him off balance. I love when I throw men off balance altogether, but it's been a while, so he's the one I have to play with right now. I don't have one of my own, so I might as well just toy around with hers. I'm, she don't have to worry. She don't have to stress. She, 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 you know, she got the goods. She could keep the goods. I don't want the goods. She could keep the goods, but, you know, share, share her little playtime with me. That's all I'm asking. Just share a little playtime with me. Not that kind of playtime. You can have all that to yourself. I just need to, you know, communicate. That's it. So that's that's all there is to say for that today. Thank God it's over. One down, two more to go, people, because you know I'm only working three days this week, right? Yes, I am. So one down, two more to go, and then I am off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, on that note, let me know what you think. The more I look at it, the more I like it, but it's still not the way I wanted it to be. And it does match rather nicely with, might I say, rather nicely. But it's not the look I wanted. I wanted a deeper, you'll see. I'll post that particular video that I'm talking about. I'll post the link of it on the bottom. And then you guys can see for yourselves. You'll, you'll see. Nancy didn't even come close, but it's not a bad look. It's not a bad look. If I wanted to go for something like this, perfect. Up the amp is an ish lipstick, is an ish lipstick. 
So, um, yes, I like it a lot. Thank you, Ladybug, to wish on. That's Nikki. That's who I'm talking about, y'all. Yeah, everybody should know Nikki by now. I always talk about her. Hello, fashion. Yeah. Did I just say fashion? Why did I say that? Words have been popping out of my mouth, and I don't know. It's like a, a mouth burp. I don't understand. <laughs> Old age, people. So that's that with that. Here we go. That's it. That's it. Okay, on that note, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about these without seeing Risa's and then look at Risa's and then do a combination. And then, you know, let me know if you like hers better than mine, which if you like hers better than mine, then I'm I'm, I'm all for it because that is the look I really wanted to go for. I might have missed a step or something. I don't know what it is, but I did the best I could. Okay. On that note, I'm going now. Tired as a dog. So that is it for now. I love you. I love my YouTube family. I love my newcomers, my new subscribers. I swear I get like one a day and I am thrilled and thankful and joyful. So thank you. Welcome aboard. Hold on tight. It's a wild ride. If you really want to get to know me, Check out my archived videos, the, the old ones from like 2011, because I think that's when I started making videos. And work your way up to the present, because you'll see the transformation of me from a nice little shy little, hi everybody, this is, now I'm just loud and myself. This is who I am. Not that that wasn't who I was, but I was like tiptoeing, you know, dipping my pool into the YT family, the whole YouTube situation. And then when I became relaxed, now, now it's my family. So you know how family is. Just say, I love you. I love you all. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Just let me know, hit me up. And, um, you know, I'll, like I said, I'll post the Risa's video on the bottom so you can make a comparison. Okay. I love you. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.